Hi, I'm Matt. I'm the AI sales engineer here at Avalites in London. And today we're going to be going over some keystoning warp and mesh tools in AI. So, first thing you're going to want to do is create your 16 by 9 screen. So we've just got a single HD screen in the stage construction. If you're a bit unsure how to do that, please see some of our other earlier videos. And I'm going to put a test pattern on that. So for an instance where you've got a single projector that you just want to do a little bit of keystoning, it's not worth it in AI to use this projector tool. You can actually do a lot of it when dealing in 2D with a single screen. So I'm going to leave that projector tool untouched and just use a single screen. On our output page, so bottom right, output, outputs, we have our different outputs we can select. So our screen labeled here at the bottom, I can select a region and we can put that on our output. So bottom right hand corner, click AI output outputs and that will bring you to this page here where you've got your outputs, your screen canvas on the left and your outputs on the right. So here we just want to use our region selector tool and send part of that screen to the projector on output 2 and you can see that on the wall here. If I double click that center we'll go to full screen. So you notice on the top left here you've got a keystone tool and a grid warp. These are what we're going to be using today. So if you click onto it you want to make sure that's activated green and then you can drag these corners and perform your grid warp. And now this works on an infinity plane, so you get really nice warped image without any distortion. If you ever want to go back, you can just hit reset on each of the different corners or deactivate it. So we get asked a couple times of people who want to do keystoning from the media server itself. And that is very possible with this if you don't want to do it on a projector. Something else you can do is if you have two projectors. You can see, I've got these two projectors stacked on top of each other, but they've not been aligned or warped to work together. But that's okay. In AI, we can set the keystone and grid warp to do that for us. So, if I go to the keystone, we're on output 3 currently. I will activate it, grab a corner, and we want to make sure that this is within the frame of the second projector and that everything is nice and square to our environment. If we're using a projector screen, that it's with inside the regions, uh, or projecting onto an object. So I'm just gonna make it nice and square. We can use our arrow keys as well to get more precise control of a pixel value as we change that. Okay, so that was number three. And if we go to number two, we can do the same thing to get lined up with that output. So I'm just gonna stick it there, use my arrow keys to line it up even closer. That one, I'm going to go to there. This one, line up there. And finally, number four, just kind of nudge it over to the left. And there we go. If at this point your projectors are offset from each other and you need to do any grid warping, uh, that can be done with this. So if the center was misaligned, we could select multiple points or just one and nudge that until it was warped correctly. Uh, and if you ever need to reset it, you've got the reset there or you can go back to the original new grid there. You can also add columns and rows if you need more precise control of a specific region where maybe that just needs to be warped slightly more into place as you see on the screen there. So that is grid warping keystoning in AI using very simple 2D tools. Thanks for watching guys, I uh, hope to see you soon. If you have any more questions, please drop us a line, an email, phone call, or have a look at some of our other videos. See you soon.